Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and today we're playing Blockscape. Blockscape is a sandbox game and has been in development for the last four years by one person and that person sent me, well, a key to check out this really interesting little sandbox game. So, we are roaming a procedurally generated world and if that sounds familiar to another game, we can also mine and craft things and gather resources and whatnot, then yes, there are some similarities to, let's say, Minecraft, but it is by far not a clone because this is quite different. This is a voxel-based engine and as you can already see, it looks really spectacular. Um, what you can achieve with a voxel engine. You can achieve a much more uh, natural and more realistic uh, looking, well, landscape. Not that Minecraft doesn't look nice, but this is this is fairly impressive. This is all procedurally generated. These, well, forests, this, those mountain ranges with snow on top of it. And well, once every once in a while there's a building there. And this game is really beautiful and the biggest difference, I'd say, is the voxel engine that is below this, or the voxel system, not engine, um, that, well, generates this world. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will quickly show you what voxels do or where the main difference is between them. They are somewhat like building blocks, but different. They will adjust to their surroundings and generate a much more smooth look. Um, let me just demonstrate that by carving, like, let's say, a few blocks out of the ground um, right now. Which I do with my uh, right mouse button. With my right mouse button I can gather materials. Ooh, ooh, this is a bug. Give me that. Um, I don't know why I'm collecting bugs. I just do. They, they just sometimes appear and <laughs> I don't know if that is a, a joke by the developer. Just like random bugs appearing and running off. But maybe they're just like creatures. Maybe the developer likes bugs. I don't know. But uh, as you can see, I can like carve out a nice place out of the mountain. And uh, be very granular with that. I can change the size uh, of which I... How I remove things out of the ground, like this, like a big nice uh, area, or small ones, which is much faster, because it's less to mine, uh, but it's much more granular, so it's pretty much like sculpting, um, or at least it feels like sculpting to me, hey, you come here, come here, there, gotcha. I don't know, I like catching bugs, it's kind of weird. Um, we also have an inventory, I oh, don't know, um, it doesn't say bugs, I think I just collect them or just remove them. I can place blocks. These are now, I'd say, crafted blocks. Um, and I can put them down and they attach and, well, become, well, I'd say, not a model, but they become uh, a new structure. Just pretty much, I mean, this is similar. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's a crafting table. Um, of course, you can also change the size again and build more at once. Um, you know, like like on the floor, I could make a nice big cube. That was a cube, that was not a plate. That was probably not very smart, but I can always remove them really fast. That's no problem at all. Um, carve out things again. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm building here, but you can build some really intriguing structures. Um, the smallest size we can build at is this. And we can build like little slopes. And uh, I should probably start building something that resembles something. <laughs> I really have no idea what this is. You can build some really easily, actually. You can build some really impressive uh, little structures. Not that you can't build anything impressive with with uh, Minecraft. I've seen so many impressive things here, but this is much more granular. This gives you more freedom, which in one way is a good thing. And it can also be a bad thing because it might overwhelm you with all the things you can do. But it's really easy to pick up. And you can stay with blocks in the beginning. Um, I can just place a few blocks down and build something with that. Let us build a little structure here on the lake. I think that's a nice spot to build a house or something along those lines. So everything you see is pretty much based on voxels. So even the trees are made out of voxels, which also leads to some pretty interesting behaviors. It's pretty much um, what you see in any other building game. Uh, physics have their own way in these games. Okay. Let's open up the inventory and move around a little bit. Okay, I don't want any soil. Let's put that into the inventory. And I want pine borks. I'll take that. As you can see, you have quite a lot of um, different pre-made assets, I'd say. So you can select the different building blocks that you want to work with and put them in your inventory. Okay, first we need a little bit of a foundation, I'd say. I'm not very talented with building things in games like Minecraft. 
I'm trying not to make too much of a mess, so it looks kind of good. Here we go. Some nice steps towards my little hut. So we have our little foundation. Let me just get make that straight. There we go. I think the next step should be the walls that I put down. Plop, plop, plop. Okay, that works just fine. Wonderful. I like how the different materials just like flow into each other, like sand and stone in this case. Okay, uh, this is a little bit tight. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Okay, good. We have a door. That's good. More walls. Oh, I don't know. I don't have enough rocks anymore. New. No. There we have some rocks. Let's make a pathway through this just to show off how cool a voxel engine can be. I could actually build a little house inside this cube if I wanted to. Um, that would take some time, but it would certainly be possible. Uh, but I think I got enough rocks to finish up my little house here. So let's get back to that. And let's do this. And then up on top of here. And then we're gonna fill up this hole. Already reminds me very much of many, many, many hours spent in Minecraft where I just stood on walls and built more walls to build my crazy contraptions. And I'm really curious to see what people will come up with in this game. Because this holds a lot of potential. Okay, we have the walls. Let's put in a nice wooden floor. Uh, pine bark floors. Plates. Okay. Let's get in here. And place those down. Okay, this is probably not the right material, but it, it, it kind of looks cool. It is a wooden floor, in all fairness. I think we need a little staircase of some sort. Nice, we have some nice stairs. Now we can walk inside of this. Um, we could even put like a slope here, like a nice slope. No, it's wheelchair friendly. I like the stairs better, but I think that's just fine. Um, we need a window. And I think we also need a little bit more of a wall. I think this is not enough yet. Okay, now we need a window. I should put in a nice little window here. Yeah, that's nice, okay. Wait, wasn't there like a window block for this? Yeah, I think there was. Okay, let's let's get that one. Can I make it bigger? Yes, I can. Ha! Huh, look at this. I have a nice I placed a nice little window. Maybe a little bit low, but that's a start. Don't judge. This is my nice little cave. Um it's quite beautiful. Isn't it? I think it's 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 beautiful. It's absolutely adorable. Um Yeah, I wouldn't want to live in that either. Let's put another window in here. It's like way too dark. You know what, actually I'm gonna put in two windows right next to each other, that's kinda neat. Uh, where's my window thingy? There it is, okay. Um, let's put like two windows in here. Okay, yeah, already looks a little bit nicer. You know what, I'm gonna put like a few windows at the top. I think that would be, that would look really, really cool. I need my windows. Make a nice big window here. So I can already feel being more comfortable with this editor. It takes some time to get used to. It's a definitely a different system if you're coming uh, or if you're used to something like Minecraft. You will see the similarities, but um, it is definitely something you have to work your way into and understand, like, or at least have an idea of how the voxel-based system works. But after that, you're pretty much, uh, you'll have no problems. Uh, okay, let's, that's what these slopes are for, right? Yes, that's what they are for. This looks, this looks really, really cool. Actually kind of proud of myself here, okay. I know that there are other materials I just don't have any right now and I just want to build right now. Eh, come here. This game has a dynamic daylight system, so it will get night soon and I probably won't see anything because I didn't build any torches or anything. I haven't looked at the crafting system at all, which is kind of a shame because there is a crafting system in here, but I'm just having so much fun building something now. And this, these are now the corner pieces that I can put to the corners of the thing. This looks like a bunker now. I mean, considering that it's like mostly made out of um, stone, oops. This is now definitely much cooler. I have, I have a roof window thingy. This is I'm starting to like this. Let's have a look at the crafting menu. 
So this is an axe hammer. It needs a plank and oh. Okay, ah, okay, now it tells me what it needs. It needs a plank. How do I get planks? Um, pine plank. Okay, you know what? Let's craft all of them. A workbench. What do I need for a workbench? 57 pine planks. Okay, let's craft that. Oh, it's hiding here. There are all my things. Okay. Yeah, the UI still needs a little bit of work, which is understandable. A tree seat. I'll take a workbench. All right, let's place that workbench. Well, let's place a workbench right on the window, like right in front of the window. Oh, I have a workbench. Very cool. What else do I have? I have a second workbench. I built that accidentally. Um, there's so many building blocks that I can use. Ah, okay, I get it. This is a little bit confusing at first to understand. So you select pretty much the building part you want and then you can select things like the pines that we crafted. In this case, the pine plank and goes, I guess, really well with our little blocks. It's T, okay. Let's put one here. Uh, I have pine blocks. I could make a floor with these, I guess. Left mouse button or right mouse button to interact. Okay. So, oh, look at this. We can build a torch now. That needs six pine planks. I don't have that many pine planks. Uh, do I? I think I have to craft some then. Mm. Cube pine planks. Craft all of the pine planks. Okay, so now that I have enough pine planks, I should be able to build a wooden torch now. Let's craft. Okay, let's see where are they? Where do I have them? Are they? There they are. Wooden torch. Okay. Let's put some at the entrance. Ah, now we're talking. I don't feel too comfortable to put them inside my house, but then again, I kind of need light to work. So, just do this, I guess. Well, at least it's nice and bright here. Let's craft the door. A chair. Yes, please. And a bed. Yes, please. Oh, that needs 90 planks. I don't have that many. Well, let's start off. We have a chair. Well, that's the wrong way. Wrong way, Jose. Now we have a chair. That's much better. It looks much more comfortable. This is beautiful. We have a nice little place. Alright, I think I built a nice little place at the beach. I still wouldn't want to live at it, but it's mine. So I hope this gave you a good impression of the game Blockscape. So you can buy the game on the developer's homepage. The link where you can get it is in the description below. And as soon as it gets on Steam, uh, you will get a, a key. And it is in the process of getting there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to play the game yourself, you can buy it on the developer's homepage. The link to the homepage is in the description below as usual. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Helps out a lot. And let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, I'm Weasel. I'm out. Get in. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.